So ladies and gentlemen, we'll now move into fight number eight and it will be an amateur women's bantamweight bout. Introducing first, out of the red corner, we have Hannah Thomas. So welcome back to Coastal Combat 5. Fight eight of the evening on her way to the cage, Hannah Thomas from Ronan MMA, coached by Chris Spence. Anton, realistically here, coming up against such a BJJ savage like Casey O'Neill. Hasn't want to keep this one standing, go back to her Muay Thai roots, try to land that finishing blow on her feet. Definitely, I think she, um, you know, her strongest part of the game will be her stand up against Casey. Uh, you know, Casey has the experience. Uh, this will cement Casey as the best amateur yep. fighter. Um, I'd hopefully like to see Casey maybe turn pro after this fight. Yeah, I agree. You know, get a little bit more depth in those uh, fighters that she can get matched up with and compete. I think she's uh, pretty comfortably clean swept most of the amateurs in the uh, yeah. in the country. Casey had, uh, sorry, Hannah had somewhat of an interrupted training camp given the uh, the floods in Townsville. Still comes in an excellent condition though. Ready to fight three rounds if need be. Yeah, I don't, definitely don't think she'll be using that as an excuse. However, this fight ends up. It was a tough time for the- And introducing her opponent out of the blue corner, Casey O'Neill. So Casey O'Neill on her way to the cage. Yeah. Training at a Southside MMA Matrix Boxing uh, Gym. BJJ, purple belt. Number of submission victories in her career thus far. However, interestingly enough, her last two victories come by way of TKO. So she's a threat no matter where the fight goes. She's definitely well, she's definitely well rounded. I think she'll be comfortable. It'll be interesting to see if she decides to stand. Um, you know, she might back herself standing as well and knows that if, uh, if she gets into trouble, she can take it down to the ground. It, it must be a great feeling, like having the knowledge that no matter where the fight goes, you're going to be comfortable. So she can sort of dictate what happens over the next three rounds should it go that long. And I mean, if you look to a corner, you can see the experience behind her camp as well with Paul Stoyer, you know, legend in the BJJ world. You know, lots of experience as well so the confidence in your, in your coaches is huge importance to see so ladies and gentlemen fight number eight this evening is an amateur women's bantamweight bout contested over three three minute rounds and introducing first fighting out of the red corner she weighed in at 59.7 kilos and trains out of ronin academy making her third appearance in the cage tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Hannah Thomas. And her opponent fighting out of the blue corner. She weighed in at 60.3 kilos and trains out of Southside MMA and Matrix Boxing Gym with an amateur MMA record of four wins with just two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Casey O'Neill. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Peter Hickmont. Both girls looking extremely focused and ready to get this fight started. They do. Hannah in particular looks mean. Bad intentions in this one. Casey, ultra experienced though. Straight at it. There you go. Early left hand. Oh. Shoots. So straight into things here in fight number nine. Oh. And over. Oh, her leg ended up in a pretty bad position <laughs> then after that takedown. Wow. So Hannah Thomas now digging for underhooks. Looks like Casey's Casey got the lift though. Going to drag her into a corner. Oh, big takedown. So straight away, the Ronan Academy 10th Planet influence coming back and we see the rubber, rubber guard, guard attempts from uh, Hannah Thomas. So very interesting matchup this one. Both girls moving up in weight to uh, do battle here. Casey O'Neill taking it on relatively short notice and Casey uh, the holder of what is probably the longest winning streak in uh, women's amateur MMA in Australia at the moment. Four fights on the trot. Yeah, and as um, Josh and I were just mentioning, it'd be, it'd be uh, very exciting to see Casey turn pro after this fight. You know, deep in that pool of uh, competitors that she can compete with and uh, see how far she can go. Exciting. Really good hammer fist by Hannah on the bottom here. It's 
getting Casey's attention. Looks like she's isolating that right arm of Casey's. She's just not giving Casey the, the, uh, the ability to move and attack. But Casey is trying to th thread that uh, knee through for the guard pass. Yeah, so very right. active on the bottom here is Hannah Thomas in round one of this one. Halfway through the uh, opening stanza here and Casey O'Neill came out swinging. Gonna and get mount. into mount, here we and go. And the back up, oh no. That's a lot of time for Casey to work from full mount. Gonna ha push away posture and rain down some punches. Hannah Thomas doing her best to control posture there, digs a little underhook. Not giving Casey the space. Like to see it push that knee down, back in. And looking to staple that arm. She's trying to buck her off. Oh, it's stuck. Gives it back up. Big trouble. Big trouble from here. And Choke locked in. That's in. That's, that's in, tight. ladies and gentlemen. That's over. Over. And there it is. First round submission win. Acacia O'Neill stretches that record to 5 and 2. Very slick transition from Casey O'Neill. Got the takedown, executed well. In full guard for a period of time, transitioned in the mount, rained some punches down. Hannah gives her back up, rear naked choke. If we watch, watch, watch Casey's leg here as it comes oh. down on itself. That's, uh, that's dangerous, yeah. Second one was a little and bit better. And again, watch on her neck, but the pressure on her neck there. She has two. Look at that. She's in a horrible position again. Still bits and pieces to work on, but this was a crux here. Did a very good job slicing through that guard straight into mount. Hannah did well. She fought gallantly, actually. Took some big punches. Did try to improve position, but once she gave her back up, that's bread and butter for Casey O'Neill. Fifth amateur win on the trot for Casey. Cementing that position as number one. Weights, number one amateur female. So ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at two minutes and eight seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke in the blue corner, Casey O'Neill. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our winner from fight number eight, Casey O'Neill. Gets it done with a first round submission, stretching the win streak to five in a row now, Casey. Talk to us about taking this fight on late notice and uh, a little bit heavier than you usually fight at. Yeah, so I've been struggling to get a fight since my last fight. So as soon as my teammate unfortunately got injured, just jumped in as soon as I could. No matter what weight, it doesn't really matter. Well, it certainly went in your favour tonight. As I said, five wins in a row in the amateur ranks. What are we seeing next, professional? Yeah, I'm fighting on March 23rd at the Southport Sharks on Eternal MMA 42, uh, making my professional debut, so it should be good. Well, we're all very excited. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for your winner, Casey O'Neill.